One day when I was 15, my dad came to us and said, uh, we're moving to San Diego. And my brother and I looked at each other with our sister and go, what? You didn't ask us, we're moving? So my dad was invited to join UC San Diego Medical School in its infancy, and he loved it. I watched him grow and become part of the institution, and it changed him, and it changed us. Back in New England, soccer and football were always in the same season, and I was always a soccer player. But when he moved out to San Diego, soccer was played in the winter. I was talked into playing football my senior year. Of course, it would, end, it would change my life. I ended up here, playing with the San Diego Chargers, my hometown. And they really got to know me because I came down with an illness in my second season. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and played sick that year, losing weight in constant pain. Sunday night, they'd take me to Hillcrest, UCSD, and they'd put a central line in my neck and I'd be fed intravenously all week. That off season, we tried every treatment for Crohn's disease, and this is now 1979, and I collapse on a team plane flying home from New England, and I have an emergency surgery, and there are complications in the surgery, and six days later, I go back. I needed 80 units of blood. I have another surgery, and I wake up, and I'm 65 pounds below my playing weight, I have two ostomy bags on my side. I had sepsis, my organs were shutting down. I was depressed and just ready to give up. And the people around me wouldn't give up on me. I remember a nurse coming in two days after my second surgery. Her name was Helen. And she was, gosh, she was so kind. She sat with me and she put her arm around me and she just listened and cared about me and and then said we're going to get through this together and we would spend five and a half weeks in the intensive care unit and every day it was nurses and doctors like that that picked me up when i didn't want to go on anymore i was done And uh, I got healthy again and got a chance to resume my career. I could never repay them for what they did for me. I got a second chance at life when I should have died. I got a second chance to play when I should never have been allowed to. But my career ended, and just as it ended, I, I met my, my wife. We decided we wanted to have kids, and, and then we had a premature daughter born at 27 weeks, just a little over two pounds. And she ended up in the NICU at UC San Diego Health. And I watched the kind of care she got. And I watched what they did to my wife. I watched the way they treated her as much as the way they treated our daughter, and I'll never forget it. After having several kids, I was suddenly diagnosed as having hepatitis C. I was devastated. I was scared as can be. Now. It wasn't just a silly football career I was worried about. I now had four kids and a wife depending on me, and I'm infected with a virus I didn't understand. I thought I was gonna die. But I went back to UC San Diego Health, the hepatology department, and I was instantly put on new clinical trials. And the third clinical trial worked, and I was cured of hepatitis C. My whole world changed on that flight home from New England. And then my world changed again when we had a preemie. And my world changed again when I discovered that I had hepatitis C. And each time UC San Diego Health was there to get me and my family through the crisis. Remarkable, really. <laughs>